until the late 19th century, an alarming average of one ship vanished mysteriously at sea each day. During this period, attributions for a ship's disappearance ranged from pirates and mythical krakens to the whims of Poseidon. However, as shipping evolved and new technologies emerged, the frequency of these enigmatic disappearances decreased. Surprisingly, even in 2005, a minimum of two ships per week continued to face sudden wrecks, resulting in numerous lives lost to the ocean's depths. The persisting question remained, who or what is accountable for these maritime crimes? The answer lies in the existence of killers, specifically killer waves. Killer waves, once deemed mythical, exhibit highly unconventional behavior compared to ordinary waves propelled by the wind. While typical waves experience a gradual increase in speed and height, killer waves deploy suddenness, elusiveness, and sheer immensity as their primary weapons. In the scientific realm, waves exceeding 21 meters in height were believed impossible in the Earth's oceans. Sailors' accounts of ghost waves were dismissed as fairy tales, and contemporary theories suggested their near negligible likelihood, proposing an appearance once every 10,000 years at most. Contrary to these predictions, sailors' experiences and satellite observations provided tangible proof that rogue waves materialized once every two days. Scientific skepticism persisted until the disaster involving the tanker Esso Languedoc in 1980 shattered doubts. Researchers confronted the first and virtually sole recorded appearance of a killer wave, captured in a photograph taken by Philip Lejour, the senior assistant to the tanker's captain. The image portrayed a staggering 30.5 meter high wave seemingly emerging out of nowhere. To grasp the impact force of such a wave, envision a nine-story building hurtling at 120 kilometers per hour, a force leaving no time for even the most urgent Instagram post. Beyond these visual records, scientists lacked a documented proof of killer waves, leading to a deadlock in the investigation. A breakthrough occurred in 1995 when the Dropner oil platform, situated between Scotland and Norway, encountered a colossal wave amidst 10-meter waves. The wave's crest surpassed 27 meters, initiating an in-depth exploration of solitary waves. This marked the inception of categorizing killer waves, revealing distinct behaviors for each type. Scientists identified several types, each posing a unique lethal threat. The solitary wave, also known as a water wall, emerges unexpectedly, descending from above to flood the upper deck, breach devices, and rupture cargo holds, a scenario proving fatal for most ships. The cruise ship Norwegian Dream encountered such a wave, impacting its bow and narrowly avoiding capsizing. An even more precarious scenario involves three sisters, three successive waves with the central one attaining the greatest height, causing regular impacts that effortlessly capsize ships. The hole in the sea variant involves the formation of a profound trench between two waves, potentially submerging a ship's bow or stern, leading to swift sinking. Square waves, intersecting at precise right angles, form a vice-like grip on vessels, rendering escape nearly insurmountable. Despite these classifications, predicting the occurrence of killer waves remains challenging. Technologies capable of ascertaining when and where a 30-meter wave might manifest are still under development. Initiatives like the MaxWave project, launched in 2000, harnessed satellite-based ocean surface monitoring to scrutinize killer waves. The project revealed that over 10 giant solitary waves with heights exceeding 25 meters formed in just three weeks. This prompted the subsequent Wave Atlas project, constructing a global atlas of recorded rogue wave events for comprehensive statistical analyses on their frequency and prevalent areas of occurrence, facilitating the identification of safer routes for ships. The scientific community grapples with unraveling the mysteries of killer waves, with the hypothesis suggesting the merger of adjacent waves to create a colossal wave remaining unverified. The precision of project calculations, like those of Wave Atlas, cannot guarantee 100% accuracy. Evading a killer wave remains an intimidating task, and Professor Gunter Steinmeier, an ocean wave specialist, contends that the most precise tool for tracking them was invented long ago, a window or porthole on a ship or drilling platform. Even with the foresight to spot a killer wave early, escaping its sudden and overwhelming impact 
poses a formidable challenge. In conclusion, the phenomenon of killer waves, once relegated to the realm of myth, has been substantiated by empirical evidence and scientific exploration. The nuanced categorization of these waves underscores the diverse and perilous threats they pose to ships navigating the open sea. Despite concerted efforts to study and comprehend them, predicting the occurrence of killer waves remains a formidable challenge. The ongoing development of technologies to anticipate and circumvent these waves underscores the relentless pursuit to demystify the secrets of the ocean's most enigmatic and lethal phenomena. The journey to understand these killer waves has not only ushered in new chapters in scientific inquiry, but has also emphasized the imperative of advancing technologies to navigate and survive the capricious forces of the open sea. The quest for knowledge about killer waves persists, urging scientists and researchers to plunge deeper into the mysteries that the vast and unpredictable oceans harbor. As we stand on the precipice of further revelations, the saga of killer waves unfolds as a captivating and evolving narrative, connecting us to the raw and untamed power of the sea. As a user, I find the exploration of killer waves both fascinating and unsettling. The paradoxical nature of these waves, once dismissed as myths, now stands validated by scientific evidence. The meticulous categorization of various killer wave types sheds light on the complex dynamics that make them formidable threats to maritime safety. The historical context, dating back to the late 19th century, serves as a backdrop to the evolution or understanding of killer waves. From attributing ship disappearances to mythical creatures and divine raft to acknowledging the tangible existence of these oceanic predators, the narrative unfolds with a sense of awe and trepidation. The persistent occurrence of maritime disasters even in the modern era, such as the 2005 incidents, underscores the urgency of comprehending and predicting these waves. The detailed exploration of solitary waves, three sisters, hole in the sea, and square waves provides a vivid picture of the diverse manifestations of killer waves. Each type poses distinct threats, making it apparent that there is no one-size-fits-all solution for mitigating their impact. The struggle to predict these waves accurately reflects the challenges inherent in navigating the unpredictable forces of the open sea. The technological initiatives, such as the Max Wave and Wave Atlas projects, highlight the collaborative efforts of the scientific community to address the elusive nature of killer waves. The reliance on satellite-based monitoring and the development of a global atlas demonstrate a commitment to finding safer routes for ships. However, the inherent uncertainty and the inability to guarantee absolute accuracy in predictions emphasize the ongoing complexities in this field. Professor Gunter Steinmeier's perspective on the most accurate tool for tracking killer waves, a simple window or porthole, adds a touch of irony to the high-tech endeavors. It underscores the simplicity often hidden in the face of sophisticated challenges. The analogy of sudden life surprises hitting as unexpectedly as killer waves injects a relatable element into the discourse, connecting the scientific inquiry with the unpredictability of everyday life. In conclusion, the exploration of killer waves is not merely a scientific endeavor but a journey that unravels the mysteries concealed beneath the ocean's surface. It invites us to ponder the delicate balance between our technological advancements and the formidable forces of nature. As we delve deeper into understanding these waves, we confront the limitations of our current knowledge and the realization that, in the vastness of the sea, some secrets may remain beyond our complete comprehension.